Hey, what's up, guys? It's JKK Tag, and today we're back at it again with another Fireball and Poison Bait deck. In this deck, you're gonna have the Magic Archer, you're gonna have Hunter, three Musketeers, and Tombstone, and Royal Hogs. That is so much bait. It's literally five out of the eight cards are bait. This deck works super, super well because your opponent obviously is not gonna have five bait killers. So this deck is able to overwhelm your opponent. You really wanna focus on counter pushing after utilizing the Hunter, the three Musketeers on defense, and you also actually have Tombstone for Royal Hog Defense, and you also have Royal Ghost for Royal Hog Defense. So this deck is really, really good in the meta. Check it out for 12 win grand challenges and for ladder pushing, and let me know how it ends up working for you down below in the comment section. Guys, we got a game against Happy. We're gonna sauce out a good luck. We're gonna get ready to roll with our Royal Ghost in the back. So this is gonna be a different type of three musketeer deck. You're gonna be a little bit more safe with a Hunter and a Tombstone, so you're gonna have a lot of great defenses. This guy's gonna end up going in for a Tombstone as a starting play. I kind of want to go with my Royal Hog, see if we can bypass that. I feel like it's a little bit off to the side, so at least we get one hit. Go for a Fireball right on top of the Mega Man and the entirety of the guards. Maybe we get the Royal Ghost on top of the tower. And never mind, the Skeletons are going to be making waves on us. That's a little bit unfortunate. So I realize I have to go and kite that, so I'm going to end up dropping a Tombstone here. I know that the Balloon gets one hit, it kills it, but then the Balloon ends up dying before it gets a single hit on the tower, so that is beautiful. Utilizing the Tombstone, not freaking out and dropping a Magic Archer. Knew the Tombstone would clean it up, so we ended up getting a positive Winsor trade there. He actually zapped it as well. He really thought that that tower was going to put in map work. Don't know why he didn't zap that tower, honestly. Regardless, guys, we're still making waves. Royal Ghost is going to be coming up clutch yet again. More damage on the tower. I actually want to go for Magic Archer since the Mega Minion is in alignment. Hopefully, no, it targets the Skeleton first. I was like, you know, hopefully it doesn't target the Skeleton, but it did. Go for Royal Hogs just to make sure that we keep the Magic Archer alive and, uh, yeah, the Magic Archer is still vibing, still vibing, and uh, we're going to get a lot of tower damage as a result. Let's go. So, who do I want to do here? If we're in a precarious position, I definitely want to go in for my Hunter first and foremost. Hunter DPS down the Lava Hound is a pretty good play, and then when he goes in for a Fireball, then I go for three Musketeers all stockpiled up, and he can't really do anything about it. So actually, I can just Fireball all that, yeah. It's beautiful, because the Hunter still stays alive. I go in for a Tombstone. He zaps, but then the Tombstone is going to clean up the balloon, so he doesn't get any damage, guys. We're still vibing. This is, like, such a perfect game so far. Zero misplays. Everything has just been going exactly how I wanted to. We're pretty happy against happy, guys. So I'm going to go split my three Musketeers because I want to retain my advantage on the map. I want to make sure that he doesn't have any ability of going in for any type of, like, Lava Hound push. He has to defend first and foremost. I guess he's going to go in for the Lava Hound in the lane of the two, which is a pretty good play on his end. Definitely just going to go for a Royal Ghost around top, and then I can go for Royal Hogs and maybe apply aggression towards the three. So it's going to be really scary for him, not going to lie. I can actually go for the Hunter here, and then I can go for the Magic Archer off to the side. And if he goes in for a Balloon, I can go kite it off his lane with the Tombstone. Otherwise, I kind of want to just vibe here. So yeah, I'm going to go for the Tombstone. End up going for a Fireball, make sure that we can knock the Balloon back and propel the minions back. And the Magic Archer is still here. Guys, we're just not taking any damage. This deck wrecks. And I mean wrecks Lava Loon. If you play it perfectly, they're not going to get any damage. I guess he got some balloon hits or some balloon death damage, but that's it. It's crazy, man. Fireball comes in, but he's not able to fireball everything. We got Magic Archer, we got Hunter. We have three Musketeers. I think this guy's a little bit overwhelmed by this matchup. GG, well played, and peace out, Happy. You played pretty well, but it's just not a matchup you can win if I play perfect. Dang, man. He's with the Fire Wizard mode, too. He's just like, yeah, there's nothing I can do. GG and well played, brother. We got a game against Froyo. We're saucing out of good luck here. I'm going to get ready and raring to go with the Tombstone. So he's saucing out of good luck. What's up, man? I'm going to give him the uh, Princess thumbs up. Cheeky thumbs up. And this dude is going to end up going in for minions in the middle. So I don't really know what he's got. I'm just going to go for a Hunter. Play a little bit of passive here. So minions and Electro Wizard definitely going to be looking like a Pekka deck. Yeah, it's going to be Pekka Minor Poison, probably. That situation, since he just went in for the poison, I feel very comfortable going in for my three musketeers. I'm sure your Electro is going to get one hit, but it doesn't really matter, it'll just die. And then I can go split my Royal Hogs. See if he has Pekka or Mega Knight. So it's looking like Pekka after seeing Battle Ram. Mega Knight never has Battle Ram. He's going to get some nice damage on us, look at that go. I definitely have to go in for my own Royal Ghost here. It's a fact. Bandit's going to be putting in the work, but the Bandit should end up dying to the tower and the Royal Ghost, and we're not going to incur too much damage on that side. I love how the Royal Ghost, even if it's at a sliver of HP, goes invisible and then gets extra tower damage from your opponent. It's probably really, really frustrating for him, I'm not going to lie. But man, it feels good. I'm 
drop anything here, or are you just gonna eat? Actually, it doesn't even get a hit, unfortunately. Go for a tombstone. See if he poisons it. That'd be really good for us. Don't think he wants to. I'm just gonna go for a hunter here, and we're gonna see what's up. Do you want to go cycle some units on us or not? Okay. Road ghost, pretty passive. Goes in for a poison on just the tombstone. That's really good for me, especially when I can go in for a magic archer here. Oh man, the magic archer was slightly off to the side because the royal hogs punished us. Magic archer did get some damage there in the secondary hit. End up going for another tombstone. We got a lot of damage with that magic archer. Let's go. So when he bridge bams, I have hunter, so there's not too much of a worry. Actually, gonna go for a royal ghost as my start. He's gonna bridge bam a little bit here. So I can go for three musketeers, slaughter that. Oh man, the three muskies are really putting in work, boys. Look at that. Clobbering them down. I actually do have to go for a barbaro. Didn't want to. It's okay though. I can go for royal hogs. Then I can go in for magic archer. This time we're actually gonna hit everything. Then I can fireball as well. That's beautiful. Look at all that damage, guys. Magic archer putting in so much work. Holy crap, guys. That's insane. He's insane. I can go for Royal Ghost, and I'm pretty confident that I just go in for another series of Royal Hogs and Fireball, and then I win the game, so this is a pretty well-fought battle, but I'm just going to go for my Royal Hogs right now, and there's not too much you can do, because I can just go for Magic Archer, light it up, and yeah, there we go, boys. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Pleasure playing against you, Froyo. A true sir. Give me that love. I got to reciprocate with some more love. We're going to go drop a good luck, and we're going to see what's up from this legend. Can I end up going for Royal Hogs? All in one lane. We're going to be going in that lane, the right-hand lane. He's not dropping anything. He's leaking elixir. He fireballs. Okay. Fireballs and uh, goblins. Okay. I thought they were spear goblins for a second. And then I noticed they had stabs. And I was just like, what? What are you doing with knives, man? Gotta have spears. Very rarely do you see stab goblins anymore. Since he's gonna have P.E.K.K.A., I feel confident going in for a tombstone here. He's not gonna have fireball in rotation. So I can go split my three muskies. He might bridge bam. Oh, wow. He's playing super aggressive. This is good for us. As long as that doesn't lock on, which should take should take a fat second to lock on, right? Yeah, it's not locking on. It's gonna go on the muskies first, right? Definitely hits the musky. Pack ends up dying. That's beautiful. So the bandit is gonna be quite a nuisance. I actually have to go for a bar barrel right on top of it, otherwise it actually gets damaged. Can't let that happen. We go for zappies. Well played on his end. We'll wait for that one zappy to die. Then I'm gonna go crazy ham in there. I'm just gonna go for the Royal Hogs right now. As soon as the tower locks onto the Zappy, then I'm gonna go for my Royal Ghost right on top. He's actually gonna go for Goblins. So this is just, I don't know. I'm not used to seeing a Packet deck with Goblins like this, guys. It's just a little bit weird for me. Royal Ghost might get on top. Nope, not quite. Could have been a little bit more clean for me. Should end up dying here. I'm gonna go for a Hunter just to make sure that we can eliminate the Barbarians. And I know I can go for three Musketeers. As soon as he goes for something. He's gonna drop like flying machine here. Yeah, there it is. Flying machine will just die to the muskies. Gets like one hit on the tower, it's not too bad. I don't really like my card cycle. I don't have royal hogs in combination with my muskies. I don't like that. Guess I can go for a barb here to go kite the P.E.K.K.A. I think that might be good. Since the muskies getting more damage. Go for all my muskies, for all my royal hogs in the left hand lane. Instead of having to go for a zap, which is pretty good for us. I'm gonna go for match archer. Magic Archer cleans up all that. Definitely just going to straight up fireball. Go for my Royal Ghost here. Go for another Barbarian Barrel to distract the P.E.K.K.A. I don't think it really mattered too much, but it did something. He's going to fireball the left for sure. Oh wow, he didn't. It's interesting. Got a lot of damage and we actually swerved the P.E.K.K.A. in the opposite lane. I don't think he wanted that to happen. I'm gonna go for three muskies. Definitely gonna fireball all that junk. Can't let that fly machine get on top of us and he's not gonna eliminate that one musketeer so we end up killing the pack with it. Definitely gonna go for a royal ghost right in front. Go split our royal hogs. Muskie's gonna stay alive because the uh, royal ghost is gonna eliminate the knight and actually stay here. Tower's gonna be targeting that instead of the muskie. Well, actually the muskie isn't even in the vicinity but that's uh, really good for us. Hunter so the bandit doesn't dash. 
So I'm going to go split my muskies again. It's going to go P.E.K.K.A. This is good for us. I feel comfortable going for a Magic Archer here because I will be able to defend. Look at all that damage, guys. Holy crap. That's so much. That's a lot. We take those. Definitely going to go sauce out a Fireball and all that junk that's coming at me. This dude is a savage. He just ignores all the Musketeers on the right. What is he doing? He's a complete and utter madman. I love it. Better believe it, guys. That Fireball was so juicy. We hit everything I could have ever asked for, honestly. I'm just going to go for Royal Hogs and I collect a W that way. GG, well played, and peace out, brother. That Fireball literally cleaned up everything I could have ever asked for on defense, and we won the game. Very thankful for that. Peace out, brother. So we passively go in for a Tombstone. This dude goes in for a Baby Dragon. Most likely going to be a Golem deck. Could also be the Splash Art variation with Barbarian Barrel. We'll have to wait and see. Looking like the Splash Art Barbarian. Well, he's got Log instead, but it's still going to be Graveyard. Got a lot of damage on the right-hand side, so I'm liking it. Tombstone gets a positive Elixir trade. Definitely going to go for three Musketeers to get map control on the map, so he's not able to go for Graveyard. The Ice Wither is, is going to be eradicated. He's not really able to get anything while well, he went for Graveyard. He shouldn't be able to do that. That's a really bad play. He does it anyway, though. And then I'm going to go for Royal Ghost. He's uh, not making any waves with that Graveyard. It's just going to end up getting absolutely nothing. He still has to respond to Musketeer. Still has to respond to the Royal Ghost, which he probably will actually activate King Tower with, with a uh, NATO, if I had to guess. And then I'm going to go Hunter here. We still get a hit, though, so I'm okay with it. So what is he going to do on top of that? Maybe Royal Ghost of his own? Or Knight or Cannon Cart? Or he's just going to eat it? Okay, he just eats it. That's a lot of damage for you to just eat, man. I'm a huge fan of doing that, brother. So I feel confident going for a Bar Barrel and then going for Royal Hogs and see what he does about that because he doesn't have NATO in Cycle, right? He already used it. Could Fireball, but that would be an overexertion. Don't really want to go for Magic Archer. Rather just collect our free chip damage. That's like six... Yeah, that's like six hits, right? No, that, that wasn't even close to six. How many hits was that? Was that three or four? That's four. Still worth. And then he keeps going in when I have three Musketeers. So this is the ideal situation. When you have Graveyard, you never want to be going like Graveyard Poison right into two Muskies. That's like a really bad play. For us, it's phenomenal. We end up killing the Graveyard. He has no potential damage, and then we always get counter push value. Look at his towers compared to ours. They're quite dilapidated. I can go for a Royal Ghost here. I can go for Magic Archer. Drops anything near. Definitely just want to fireball that. Make sure it doesn't cross the river. Good night, sir. Ooh, maybe Magic Archer would have done work. Go Bar Barrel here. Go for Tombstone in the back. So now he has to go in this lane, but he doesn't want to. He's like, where is he going to poison? So he's going to try to probably pull all opposite, and then I go Hunter right on top of the Baby Dragon? No, he doesn't. I That's what he should have done, but he didn't do it. Okay, so the Baby Dragon ends up dying. That means that I can probably just go for Royal Hogs. I can go for a Royal Ghost here. We still have the Musketeers alive, so I always want to tank for those. Get more value that way. That one, oh my gosh. The one Piglet on the left was OP. And then also the Muskies locked, guys. This is going to be brutal. I just Fireball here. I end up going for a Tombstone to make sure it doesn't actually go across. I go for a Hunter in the back. I go in for a Magic Archer. And notice how I separate everything, so he's not going to get some absurd poison value on us. Magic Archer puts in mad work, and then I just go in for Royal Hogs, and I fireball him out. GG, well played, and peace out, brother. So despite him having Tombstone and NATO, you just end up applying aggression with the three Musketeers, and then he's never really able to break through. You always get counter push value, and you're up Elixir that way. GG, and well played, man. All right, so we're going to go for Royal Ghosts as our starting play. This guy goes in for minions. I'm going to actually have to sauce out a Hunter, and this is looking like it's probably going to be a P.E.K.K.A. deck, right? Looks like it's definitely the P.E.K.K.A. deck after seeing minions and Bandit. So he's going to have Electra as well. I want to go in for Royal Hogs here, make sure that we can keep the Hunter alive, and then go for a Fireball if we get a hit off on... Yep, awesome. So I got a hit off on that, stunning the Electra Wizard, making sure the Electra ends up dying to the Fireball. Beautiful. Really like this start for us. If I'm able to defend here, then we're in a prime position moving forward. I kind of have to wait for the Battle Ram. I don't want to go in for a Tombstone and then... Okay, so he doesn't have Battle Ram, he has Miner. This is beautiful for us. This is really, really good. So I was kind of worried about the... Uh, potential of battle ramp but he doesn't have that he's saying wow wow what a savage i know that all i have to do is go in for a bar barrel so it doesn't get a hit off on us and we're vibing can also go split royal hogs yet again do some dual lane aggression you know that that one barb is putting in some work against the bandit coupled with the royal ghost i think we might actually kill the bandit could i fireball the uh, electro again so then it dies and then maybe get another hit with the royal ghost i think so let's go guys look at that extra damage finessing him here 
Okay. So the thing that I would be a little bit worried, more worried about is if he actually ends up having Batarim. In that situation, I would have had to delay my Tombstone. Fortunately for us, he went in for Minor Poison, which is not really the best allocation of your Elixir in that situation. So what is he going to do here? Definitely just going to give me 3 Musketeer value. So we slaughter the Miner, we get Counter Push Potential, and he poisons and activates King Tower. So he kind of fat fingered the poison, but I was just hoping that I would end up hitting a Miner. When you see like minions poised very aggressively, you know that they're going to be doing something with it. They just don't go like minions at the river for no reason, right? It's not a play that people do. So in that situation, I actually knew, hey, I can uh, go for three Musketeers, get more value than my uh, designated value of like four. So you get four value, if you kill four worth of Elixir, that's really worth. But we ended up killing way more than that. We killed six, Miner and Minions. So that's kind of a good rule of thumb. If you drop three Musketeers, it, you always have to be up Elixir or you're going to be getting more than four worth of value, especially in single elixir. So in that situation, I was up. Um, he goes in for a poison, or his spells are out of cycle. There are like a few reasons why you can drop three on. Go for another Bard Barrel. I'm going to go in for a Royal Hogs. We're going to go right into a Pekka, but I wouldn't really care. I know that I'm just going to end up taking Tower, especially with a Fireball here. This is going to be GG. This is going to be all she wrote. There's not too much you can do. I can probably just Magic Archer to finesse him here and just like shut out the game a little bit quicker. Hey, look at that, guys. Oof, Magic Archer OP. Gotta hate the Magic Archer. It is so annoying to play against, and you gotta love playing it because it finishes off game so swiftly. GG, well played, and peace out.